Hi everyone, so this is question 5 that we are going to solve right now. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so it mentions that you have an object of mass 2.1 kg. So the mass is 2.1 kg. Let's just write it down here. And it's attached to a spring with spring constant k equals to 280 newton per meter. Okay, and it's undergoing SHM, simple harmonic motion. When the object is 0 0.020 meter from its equilibrium position, it is moving at a speed of 0 0.55 meter per second. Okay. Um, let's uh, state it. Uh, it, what it says here is, oops, when x is 0 0.020 meter, b, since it's speed, I'll uh, put a modulus because speed has no sign, it's just magnitude, no indication of direction, 0 0.55 meter per second. Okay, this is what it means. Okay, so it asks you to calculate other stuff. Um, let's not focus on what we need to answer. Let's focus on understanding the problem first. Okay, um, they say it's an object attached to a spring and it's undergoing SHM. So uh, they didn't specify whether it's a horizontal oscillation or a vertical oscillation. Uh, I'll just assume it's vertical because vertical is easier to draw. And so again, let's start with a straight line. Okay, so for this situation, we have the object. My object is here and it's oscillating as time passes. Okay, again a rough sketch on here. Don't take it so seriously. Okay, so it's undergoing an oscillation. So this is one complete oscillation. And it says the, the, the sentence which is more complicated is this when x is equal to 0 0.020 meter. The speed is 0 0.55 meter per second. What does it mean is if you find the distance of this specific point, okay, let's say for this specific height here, the distance is 0 0.020 meter. What it says here is for this oscillation okay, this is my oscillation at this particular height and at this particular height you will find that let me write it here at these two particular height I'll label it at the dot here you will see that the speed is equal to 0 0.55 meter per second. Okay. Um, they didn't really specify whether it's uh, 0 0.020 meter upwards or downwards. So I think for this situation, uh, it's, it's reasonable for us to consider these two positions as well. Okay. As long as the distance is 0 0.020. So for now, we can also include these two points as well. So for these four points, the speed will be 0 0.55 meter per second. Again, I mentioned, I want to emphasize that we are talking about speed. So we don't label it positive or negative. Technically, uh, if you want to be pedantic, you want to look at the velocity, then the velocity here should be positive because it's moving upwards. The velocity here should be negative because it's moving downwards. 
here is negative because he's moving downwards here is positive because he's moving upwards back to the equilibrium position but now we are talking about speed we don't talk about direction so there's no positive negative sign to consider here okay so i just write it again to be very very clear this is speed so it's magnitude only okay so once we are clear with the situation i think it's okay for us to start solving the question the question asks for the amplitude of the motion they ask for this particular height here This is your amplitude. So you probably need something. They, they give you information of a specific, when you are at a specific x, you have a specific speed. And now from these two information, you need to relate it to find the amplitude. I think you are, I think you, I think you will get what I'm trying to hint here. You probably use a formula that link these three things together. And okay, uh, if you look into your formula sheet, there will be this formula that links up B, A, and X. Okay, so from here, you, you are given the, well, uh, the speed. Okay, you are given the magnitude only. You are given the speed. You are given the displacement. You want to find this. But you also have one thing that you're not you are not sure about. Hmm, how do you get this omega here? How do you get angular velocity? Well, um, if you if you have heard the previous few videos, you learn that uh, if you get one of this, you get you can basically get omega. So do we have T here? Do we have capital T? I don't think so. Do you have frequency? I don't think so as well. So this thing does not work here yet. So we need another strategy. From the previous video, previous few video, I also explained how you can relate between A equals to negative omega square x, the definition for SHM, and something you derive using the spring mass system and from there we did a bit of comparison and we figure out that omega square is equals to k over m so this is another way of relating omega to some other stuff in this case is k the force constant or the spring constant if it's a spring mass system we call it spring constant if it's other SHM system, we call K the force constant and M the mass, the object mass. Well, they give you the mass, they give you the spring constant. Seems like this is our way forward. So what we can do here is B is equals to plus minus K square root k over m okay it's not omega square here it's omega so you need to square root it then you have your a b square minus x square okay so things are looking fine here you have k you have m you have b you have x so we are left with a that you need to find but a little bit you need to be a bit careful here there's a plus minus sign here the plus minus sign here is actually indicating direction. But what you are given here is speed. You are not given the velocity. So you actually don't have information about the direction at all. So what I recommend you to do is to modulus the whole thing. You modulus the whole thing because you want to know the magnitude only. So in this case, your equation will be V magnitude which is speed equals to km a square minus x square now it's a bit more mathematically accurate to continue and solve the problem 
So now it's a matter of substitution. The speed is 0 0.55 meter per second. The force constant or the spring constant is 280. The mass is 2.1 kg. You, you want to find your amplitude. So you take as A, capital A, minus the specific displacement here is 0 0.0. 0 0.020 square. Okay, um, I will skip all the maths. There's only one symbol left, so you are a bit of mathematical and manipulation. You should be able to get the amplitude as 0 0.052 meter. Okay, so that's the amplitude for this simple harmonic motion. So let's go to the next question, question B. Question B asks for the maximum velocity. Now it's velocity, means by you care about the direction. Maximum velocity, it's again a formula that you know, plus minus amplitude times the angular velocity. So it's a matter of substitution. Your A is 0 0.052, fresh from the oven. Omega, it's, well, I didn't really calculate omega. I straight away do it as square root of 280 divided by 2.1. Well, if, if you are blurred, where do I get all this thing? This thing is this thing, which is substitution. You become this thing. Okay, so... Again, press your calculator and you end up with an answer of plus minus 0 0.60 meter per second. Okay, so that's the maximum velocity. Now you have your plus minus sign because there is a, there is maximum velocity when it's going upwards and there is maximum velocity when it's going downwards. In this case, if you want to label it on the diagram again, yeah, in this case, it's upwards V max. If it's here, then it's downwards V max. Okay, because the thing is going down. If it's here, then it's an upward V max because we are going up. Okay, so different direction, different sign. That's why there's possibility of plus or minus, that's why plus minus 0 0.60 meter per second. Okay, so that's how we solve question 5. Thank you very much.